Hi, this is Cynthia from Cynthia's Chair, and today we're in my kitchen. I have a new piece to add to my kitchen collection, and it is a cast iron griddle. Now, this is brand new. I have washed it, but now I need to season it, and seasoning cast iron is vital. You have to do it. You can't skip this. You must season any cast iron that you have, and you must season every nook and cranny, handles, bottoms, everywhere. The reason that you have to do that, it is iron. It's a metal, and it will rust. So you, by seasoning it, and we'll go through that process here in just a second, you will protect it, and you will be able to maintain your cast iron for years. I'm sure some of you even have some of your grandmother's cast iron. I know that there's a cast iron skillet of my grandmother's that's floating around. So um, these will last for years. The very first thing that I'm going to do is get my oven ready. I need to have my oven set at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'm going to get that started. Now, while that's heating up, I'm ready to get my cast iron seasoning started. So now I'm ready to season my cast iron. This griddle has a searing side, you see the ridges there, and also then just a flat side like for doing your pancakes. I placed paper towels underneath so that I wouldn't scratch my countertop. And you want to make sure that you do that. You don't want to scratch up your countertops. So what this requires is vegetable oil. You can use different vegetable oils. Um, this is just pure vegetable oil made from Crisco. Um, but you could also use a um, canola oil or sunflower oil. And what you're going to do is saturate your paper towel. And then you are going to rub this oil all over your cast iron. We want it to be well incorporated into every groove, every nook, every cranny, because I don't want this ever to rust. I have seen people leave their cast iron sitting in the sink with water in it and the result of that, if you leave it sit overnight in water, again, because it's, it's a metal, it is going to rust. So you don't ever want to do that. You don't have to season like this often. Occasionally, um, it's a good idea to do it. But you have to do it at the beginning of every purchase of cast iron. The seasoning by nature will take place as you're cooking on your cast iron. So as you're cooking and you're using butters and oils and whatever, whatever you're using to uh, coat your surface with, that will penetrate with the heat as you're cooking and will season it. So at the end of your cooking, when you are done cooking whatever it is you made delicious on your stovetop or on your um, fire outside using cast iron, you want to take a towel, a paper towel, or you could use um, uh, just a cotton cloth, and you want to wipe out the debris of the food, but you don't want to wash it. The only time that we're permitted to wash cast iron is when it has reached a point where it's just not taking the oils anymore and we wash it with soap and water and then we do this process again. Now as you can see I'm doing the handles inside the handles just making sure that I'm getting my oil everywhere. And I can see where it hasn't laid down in the nooks and crannies here. And I'm just going to make sure that I get enough on. In the oven, I did put a piece of aluminum foil on my second shelf. This, one's, this is going to go on the first shelf. We will be baking this for an hour at the 350 degrees. And the reason that I put the aluminum foil down is because there may be a, some of this oil that will drip off and I don't want that down in the bottom of my oven. So as you can see I'm doing the outside edges here. I'm going to turn it over and we're going to do the same thing with this side. This side um, will be a little bit easier because I uh, don't have all those ridges. You can see that it went from a kind of a dull look to shiny. That's what the oil is doing 
to the pan. I even want to get here where there's some imprint of the manufacturer name. I even want to get that because I don't want anything to be exposed that could later rust. So we're going to finish this up and then it's going to go into the oven and bake for an hour. I don't feel like I can put too much on, so I'm just going to add some more. Make sure we're all coated in here. The handles. And I need to do this edge. Oh, that's the edge I did. Maybe I did both sides. I didn't realize it. All right, so I'm just going to inspect this to make sure it's ready to go, and then we're going to pop it in the oven. Okay, so my pan is all seasoned. I have um, dried all the excess oil off of my hand so that I can lift this up. I'm going to open the oven door and then set this inside, and we're going to let it bake for an hour at this 350 degrees. going directly on the rack. So the timer's set. It's going to bake for an hour. We're going to let it sit and cool off in the oven after that hour is up, and then I'm going to bring it out and show it to you. So I have now removed this cast iron griddle from the oven. It is still warm. It baked for an hour at 350 degrees, and then I let it sit in the oven for another half an hour or so. Now I've taken it out so that it will finish cooling down. As soon as it's done cooling, I'm going to just take and wipe it with a wet cloth, and it will be ready to go. But it does need to chill completely because of the oil. Um, we don't want to add any water or um, a cloth to this right now because the oil will start to gunk up on you. So you want to let it cool completely and then um, we'll be ready to use this to make pancakes. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please take a minute and do that. I would really appreciate it. And who knows what I'm going to be working up next, whether it's in the kitchen or somewhere else. Thanks.